Melania has been in the spotlight quite a bit over the past several days after accompanying President Trump for his international tour. Liberals never tire in their nasty barrage of vicious attacks against our First Lady, and are now all foaming at the mouth in their attempts to find something nasty to slander her on, which has made her wild week of success an even tougher pill for them to swallow. Melania even managed to garner the praise of the Arab media for her grace, elegance, beauty, and class, which is quite a huge accomplishment considering how women are viewed as second-class citizens in country that's ruled by Sharia law. Furious that Melania is outshining anything that their precious Michelle ever accomplished as First Lady, liberals wasted no time launching another barrage of disgusting attacks that's miraculously topped any of their previous antics to date. As the Arab news media continues to generate a lot of buzz over Melania's trip, propping her up as being a much better First Lady than Michelle or Hillary ever were, liberals immediately knew they had to get control of the narrative as Melania's compliments and praise began to spread like wildfire across the globe. CNN released a disgusting op-ed hit piece on both Melania and Ivanka, where they claim that the only reason that Saudi Arabia likes the Trump women is because they represent submission that is frequently prevalent in Muslim-dominated countries. That's right. Liberals are equating how women are treated in the Middle East, where women are frequently beaten and stoned to death for getting out of line, to being a part of Donald Trump's family saying that the Trump women provide perfect cover for misogyny and tyranny by being beautiful, poised and often silent. Milo has more, CNN is back at it again with the attacks on the Trump family. This time a CNN opinion piece claims that Saudi Arabia likes Trump's family because they perpetuate a culture of misogyny. The piece goes on to criticize Ivanka and Melania Trump for visiting women-owned businesses and more or less calls them fake feminists. The CNN article goes on to literally accuse Melania Trump of covering up misogyny and tyranny. The Saudi press have embraced Melania and to a related but lesser extent, Ivanka, for basically doing for the kingdom what they do for Donald Trump, provide the perfect cover for misogyny and tyranny by being beautiful, poised and often silent. Not only that, it accuses Melania and Ivanka of practicing fake feminism. The Saudi press also appreciated Melania and first daughter Ivanka Trump's championing of the kingdom's feminism light also known by some as fake feminism the same brand of women's rights Donald Trump likes to promote which the two did by visiting companies run by women entrepreneurs. Those visits, which Ivanka and Melania made separately, project a false narrative of a government committed to advancing women's rights. If Melania and Ivanka's lives really represent a case for women being horribly oppressed and subjugated by men, then count me in. As two of the most powerful women in America who both have had wildly successful careers in both business and now in politics, it's truly amazing how liberals and feminists could come to the conclusion that their lives in any way equate to what Muslim women endure, as women in the Middle East are routinely treated like cattle, existing only for the sexual pleasure of men and to create offspring. This story just proves how heavily biased liberals truly are when it comes to reporting on the Trump women. It's obvious that these leftist morons are extremely butthurt over the way that Melania and Ivanka have outshined any of their liberal hags such as Hillary and Michelle that they continue to prop up and worship, despite the fact that their Democratic Queen's accomplishments have only come to fruition by riding the coattails of their husbands, as they really have no substance, no grace, and no class to make it on their own. Here's CNN's hit piece on Melania and Ivanka if you can stomach all the BS propaganda. Donald Trump's first major trip overseas may be fraught with diplomatic landmines for the president, but the Trump administration can at least comfort itself with the clear hit that Melania Trump has been with the Saudi press. The fact that Melania is communicating with the media and the public in Saudi Arabia mainly through what Saudi news reports have deemed her classy and conservative fashion choices works well in the notoriously anti-woman kingdom. Her intense appeal makes sense considering the First Lady represents so much that Saudi citizens find familiar and can relate to, especially visually. Melania walks behind her husband, is quiet and reserved, does not make obvious demands, at least not ones we can hear, and most importantly, she looks beautiful and polished. All of that should come as no surprise, given whom Melania is married to. After all, how the Saudi government likes women to behave is similar to how Donald Trump has said he likes women to behave and they both prefer women to look pretty in pictures, rather than hold actual positions of power. Melania's husband and the Saudi government also both know and understand the power and value of a good photo opportunity. In fact, 
fantastic photo opportunities are something the kingdom values and is hypersensitive about, especially ones that are going to be seen around the world. For them, Melania Trump was perfectly poised in her black Stella McCartney jumpsuit and gilded gold belt. Melania projected a glamorous image for a country where women live under male guardianship, cannot drive, still do not have the full vote, and cannot travel or seek medical attention without male permission. The Saudi press also appreciated Melania and first daughter Ivanka Trump's championing of the kingdom's feminism light, also known by some as fake feminism the same brand of women's rights Donald Trump likes to promote which the two did by visiting companies run by women entrepreneurs. Those visits, which Ivanka and Melania made separately, project a false narrative of a government committed to advancing women's rights. Although much has been made about the first lady and first daughter not donning the headscarf, that choice really is not as big of a deal as people are making it out to be. Angela Merkel, Theresa May and Michelle Obama all skipped out on the headscarf while visiting Saudi Arabia, and Donald Trump even famously attacked Michelle Obama for insulting Saudi culture by showing her hair something his wife and daughter both just did. Even though a much stricter version of the Islamic covering is required by law for Saudi women, wives, and female family members of foreign dignitaries do not have to abide by it. That was true when Donald Trump criticized Michelle Obama for not wearing one, and it is still true now that Melania and Ivanka have followed suit. The headscarf should be the least of the Trump family's worries, because the Saudi press have embraced Melania, and to a related but lesser extent, Ivanka, for basically doing for the kingdom what they do for Donald Trump, provide the perfect cover for misogyny and tyranny by being beautiful, poised and often silent. In Melania, the Saudi press and the Saudi government found the perfect spokeswoman, who projects a glamorous image that glosses over one of world's most autocratic and oppressive regimes. What is not to love? Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.